We generally transfer two blastocyst stage embryos, but when we have additional embryos that are deemed to have good developmental potential, we can cryopreserve these embryos and store them for a later date. Um, it turns out that uh, cryopreserving embryos at the blastocyst stage uh, is very good uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first is we're sure that they're great embryos, um, so there's no mystery. And the second thing is that when it comes time to thaw the embryos, blastocyst stage embryos freeze and thaw rather nicely. There's a very high uh, survival rate from the cryopreservation process. Uh, having embryos in the freezer is, is a great plus because at the current level of, of our technology, um, not everyone is going to become pregnant. So a certain percentage of all patients um, you know, are, are not going to get pregnant from their first attempt at IVF. But if we can go back to the embryos that we have uh, cryopreserved, this gives us a, a second chance from the same cycle, the same financial investment, uh, to come back to those embryos and uh, try another run at it. And if we have um, three embryos uh, cryopreserved, uh, we generally transfer three rather than two um, on a fresh IVS cycle. Um, and when we do that, uh, we can obtain pretty much the same uh, chances of pregnancy as two with the fresh. So uh, this is a big boom for, uh, for uh, patients to have extra embryos cryopreserved.